Today I'm and I'm at the Adidas website. I don't know if anyone's reviewed this online yet, but Adidas has this thing where if you buy enough product from them, they give you points. You're all right. Every company does it. So I've been gathering points for a while, and they actually took away some of my points. Oh, look at this. So. On the first, some of my points expired, but I'm still a game changer. Hold up. Yeah. I didn't really trip off of it. The only reason I spent so much money with Adidas was because they just have gear that fits, you know, as a big guy. Um, shoes, I wear a size 15. It's very hard to find a Nike in person in a size 15. And Nikes on their website a lot of their 15s are just like basketball shoes which are cool but they're not always really that comfortable and I tried a pair of uh, my first pair of, I mean I've always kind of always bought um, Adidas because they're they I, they have them in 15s it is what it is um, sometimes I will buy a 14 I don't know why I try to fool myself it's like two or three years ago I bought these in a size 14 and the reason why was because it was my first time you know having a sock shoe right they didn't really make a lot of those so I was like okay I'll try a sock shoe and it has laces I took them out um, to wash but basically it was a sock shoe so I was like oh well you know maybe if I get it in a size 14 it'll be a better fit just because of some recommendations I had saw online, right? However, I should have definitely got them in a 15. They're not uncomfortable. Even finding a 14 is hard a lot of times too. But I've just been trying different Adidas shoes and I found that Boost and Alpha Bounce or Bounce, whatever, is actually really comfortable. I prefer Bounce when I train, but I definitely train in my Boost shoes as well. The only thing I don't like is sometimes the material, right? So it was my fault. I bought this shoe because I've always wanted an Ultra Boost. However, like I said, a lot of the 15s like just weren't in the right colors a lot of times. So I waited till something decent came out and these came out and this is the leather, what did they call it? The suede and leather. Now, I don't give a f about keeping shoes clean. I'm just be really honest with you. So I didn't buy these because I expected them to, to look good stomping around. I bought them because I did. I wanted some Ultra Boost and I trained in them, right? But however, you see these with the leather makes it really hard to train in these shoes and it doesn't have a wide platform to actually do lateral movements with, right? So not a big deal, still love the shoe, great shoe to walk in. It just irritates if I wear it a long time because of this material. And I thought going to leather would actually, you know, I would enjoy that more. But the materials they use on their shoes, even like on this one, is actually really nice. It's mesh, it's flexible, it's breathable. Your feet stay cool, they don't heat up. In a shoe like this, my foot would heat up, which isn't a bad thing, but you know, when your feet are hot, you just kind of always want to take them out the shoe. And with these shoes, I could literally wear them all day. So that's why I stuck with buying Adidas basically, because this right here feels great. It's not as squishy when you're training. So if you're doing hit workouts or even weightlifting, you know, these are great for like squats and things like that, just because it's gonna be a lot firmer. But make no mistake, when you're doing a HIIT workout, this feels great at the end of that class instead of your foot being completely like uh, entrenched in sweat and heating up. Uh, this shoe is quite a relief. And actually my favorite, this is my favorite shoe, the Solar Glide. I hope they make more of these in some less loud colors. <laughs> But like I said, sometimes this is what you deal with when you wear a size 15. Not that it's an ugly color. It's just not a color I would choose to train in. Like I said, I don't really 
care to keep shoes clean. So like, I don't care how stylish they really are, more so than how functional they are. And the wide platform on the Solar Boost is actually way better for training and for walking, honestly, because my foot is wide. So just the fact that this is wide and when I step, I, I don't even feel like I'm in a shoe anymore because of how wide that instep is. It's, it's actually perfect and this is my favorite shoe I bought out of all of the shoes I've gotten. And now they've started making training specific shoes. I haven't bought any of those, but you'll see things out there out with the trainer boost. And maybe I'll get a pair of those and do a review one day. It's not about style. If you're looking for shoes to train in, I would definitely suggest the Adidas brand if you have a big foot like I do. In the ecosystem of Adidas, definitely. So, and speaking of, so the reason I ended up speaking about Adidas was because they sent me a reward, actually two of them, and I'm gonna give the other one to you if you care to use it. So let me show, they actually gave me two vouchers for three month access to Runtastic training. So Runtastic is a training app. Now I've already used the one here at the top. So feel free to use the one on the bottom. If you Hold um, up. see yeah. this first, you're the lucky one. And they have two apps actually. One is called Adidas Running. The other is called Adidas Training. Okay, so Running is the main app, so that's what they really like. But the cool thing is you can actually put your own workouts in here too. So gives you a little time of your workout and then you can actually customize this and I have here the clock so I know the current time and then my calories and then my heart rate as I train. And then right here on the bottom is how you set up your music and your workout. So I would choose a body weight workout. When you choose a body weight workout, you don't get the option to select your route or choose from their workout. So you're basically, you know, you're, you're, you're doing your own custom workout, right? However, if I was to choose anything, so let's find running. And I could type this in if I was smart, right? And now I could go on here and explore different routes to go run pretty neat now I haven't used that portion but that's the big thing for them and they have contests going on as well with their running community so I'm actually thinking about why not let's give it a try I've never been a runner um, but you know I like to see what I can do to improve that and then you get the option to choose your music now this only works with Apple music I'm a title subscriber so it doesn't work for me and then you'll go to select your workout and then you have different methods now I set up my voucher and with that I get premium access so with that premium access I get a lot of other cool features so as you can see right here on the bottom you can connect your heart rate monitor and all those awesome things down there too right and it's basically all customizable now what I like is the training app so this is the running app all right, so that's really where you set up everything because even when you go to set up your GPS, you have to go to the running app. Now, if you wanna join my group, I suggest you do. Just find Oakland Sunshine Athletic Club or just use my email address, anthony at oaklandsunshine.com. That way you can join my group. If you can't find me off top, I'll show you right there. There goes my group, Oakland Sunshine Athletic Club, bam. Now, I'm gonna go to the training app. Now, the great thing about the training app, they have all the workouts you can choose from now, right? So you can actually build a workout. If you tap right here, workout creator. Let me get you on that screen, bam. Workout creator. You could choose what area of the body that you wanna focus on and actually adjust the time of your workout right up here as well. So if you wanna do a 15 minute workout or if you wanna do a full 45 minute workout, however however much time you have, that's a really dope feature. And then if you want to, actually just go on here and choose through all of the awesome workouts that they have available. 
So you know what guys, I think I'm gonna do a full review of this app since I have it for three months, thanks to Adidas. And we're gonna see just how awesome some of these workouts are. So if you guys see a workout on there and you wanna uh, see me complete it or take the challenge me on it, however you wanna work it out, let's do it, let's work together. Just thought it'd be something cool since I, I did get the opportunity so if you want to join, use that code, just rewind this video and find it again. If you are the first one, like I said, you're lucky. And then we'll train together and see how great the app is. Now, you can also go here and do a full training plan based on your body type. So it's a premium access. So you're actually going to be able to have new workouts and a full training plan for you for 12 weeks on this app. So yeah, that's the Adidas training app. Now, let's go and talk about what I did oh, yesterday. Yeah. So I did an app called, you may have heard of it, Fit Radio, right here, there's an orange one, Fit Radio. And with the Fit Radio app, you actually get trainers as well. But theirs works a little different. So they have DJs, and this is why I love this app, because the music on this app is perfect. They have tons of DJs and a lot of them are very good at finding the perfect music to hype you up. One of my favorite DJs on here is DJ Role Model. I suggest you check him out. It's one of my favorite DJs on here. And then let me go to my favorites. There was a guy I listened to yesterday that I can't remember, oh well. But he was an awesome DJ. You're gonna find a lot of great DJs on this app. And same, you can choose from all these different workouts, from all these different trainers, and they actually talk to you during the workout while you're listening to keep you motivated, keep you going, tell you what to do next. And it tells you all the gear that you need. So, here we go, as you can see, bam. So I love this app because I actually am creating a fitness program to original music, and I would love to, um, build a training course like this as well. So, I'm actually going to be sharing a review with you guys. So, I got a new gadget, and I posted it on my blog over at Oakland Sunshine. You can follow me there. But I got a new gadget, and it is the Polar OH1 heart rate sensor. So, the great thing about this is as you can see, I'll try and get a little closer. This I just strapped to my arm, as you can see. This does not hurt at all. You can actually adjust it. But it connects to your phone via Bluetooth, and then you can actually track your heart rate. So now you can actually do heart rate training. Uh, one thing that's really great, if you ever get a chance, if you've never done heart rate training, if you er ever get a chance, uh, I would definitely suggest checking out an Orange Theory. That's the only facility I know that uses it consistently. Um, and they do heart rate based training. And what that means is, I'll give you a, a look at my app, is basically you can see what heart rate zones that you are in when you're doing your activities. So let's take a look at my workout yesterday. There we go, bam. Oh, not that one. Okay, let's go back there. So, thought I could get a snapshot. But you can see on the screen here, you've got pink, yellow, green, blue, and then gray. So gray is like base heart rate. Um, blue is, um, you know, you're actually doing some moving around. And let me see if I can find the actual breakdown of it. If I can't, uh, regardless, red or the pink is basically the, you went all out, your heart rate was at um, its maximum. So, as you can see for my training yesterday, there we go. These are the stats. And this app um, is free with the, the OH1 heart sensor. And now what I get to do is I can actually, the great thing is, 
check my heart rate as I train in live time. And it actually tells you while you're training in your headphones, if you're listening, um, it'll, it'll talk to you, it'll tell you um, you're burning calories, um, you're improving, um, you know, whatever it is you're doing at the moment, um, it actually kind of guides you, um, even if you choose like a training. This would be awesome, I'll be going through these as well. Like I said, if you see anything on any of these apps that you would like to get a review on, uh, let me know or challenge me on, let me know. Let's make this fun, this is a fitness community. You know, I am a certified personal trainer, but training is all about community. And without a community, it's very hard to really get the support that you need in those times when you feel like you're weak now, you know. I'm a great trainer, trust me, I've done this a couple times for plenty of clients. And one thing that is always true is, you know, some people, not all people, some people love having that option of doing group classes and working as a group. And now with the way the world is now, I have to create that group here online with you guys. And I'm trying to find ways that are free or semi um, you know affordable for the most part that we can take part in together even if you don't want to do like a one-on-one -on -one training with me let's just challenge each other so we can keep that motivation going and then if, once you're ready to do something specific maybe you don't want to use an app maybe you would like to train with me of course you have that option as well just by joining up at oaklandsunshine.com so yeah that's um that's kind of been what I've done for this week, um, just trying to put together a fitness plan for myself and trying to earn enough money to eat as well. So it's really hard right now. I lost my day job uh, due to COVID back in March. And so I've just been really focusing on building out my own platform so I can train and help everyone out um, during this time. I've been helping out other gyms. So I figured why not, you know, take the knowledge I learned there, use it for myself now. And if you're watching this channel, I appreciate the support. Like, share, and subscribe as well. And until next time, love life. Peace.